Hello everyone, welcome to King of the Hill 2, part 4. Uh, today we'll be watching the second half of the loser bracket. If you haven't seen parts 1 to 3, I recommend you watch those first. Uh, otherwise you'll see lots of spoilers here. Um, I will provide links in the description for the first three parts in this video. Okay, in part 3... Uh, we saw the first half of the loser bracket games, um, the games played on Tranquility's End, and the set of games played on Battle Marshes. Today we'll watch the last of the loser bracket games. So we've got two games on Titan's Fall, two games on Quest Triumph, one game on Emerald River, and one game on Meeting of Minds. And that'll leave us um, with just one more part, part five, which will be the grand final of the tournament which is a best of three. Uh, it will be a relatively short video compared to the other parts, since there'll only be a maximum of three games. Anyway, let's carry on. So the first two games played on uh, Titan's Fall. Uh, the first one watched today is between Astro Hero and Gigamok, Necrons versus Eldar. Hard match up for Necrons, that's for sure. Rape team is a big problem here. Interesting opening from Gigamok. Opens with two plasma generators, goes for two guardians, and four bane singers. Very non standard. I wonder if he'll go for a fast tier 2. A fast soul shrine. The fact that he goes for four bone singers, I wouldn't be surprised if he follows this up with the Rave Tomb upgrade. We'll soon see. Yeah, no Asphic Portal has been placed here. It's interesting. Will he go for the Soul Shrine? Yeah, he does. Fast Soul Shrine. Okay. On the other side, we have Astro Heroes uh, Necrons. The first two scarabs are building generators, the third goes to scout uh, what Gigamok is doing. Yeah, so Astro orders three scouts, I mean three scarabs, then the first Necron Warrior squad, and then the fourth scarab. Well, this is technically the fifth since you start with a builder scarab, and then the second Necron Warrior. And Astro has already played, placed five generators and is capturing the point closest to the base. Nice scout from Astro here, he sees the Soul Shrine. You can expect a fast tier 2 now. No idea what Necron should do in this situation. I don't like starting with only two Guardians though. Well, two units to capture the map with, uh, especially on Titan's Fall. You have um, the good chances to take ne Necron's points. Uh, these three points are quite far from the monolith. Um, you can take them with um, a little bit of pressure. So I think maybe three Guardians would be good here. It looks like Gigamok made four Burn Singers, two to build the Soul Shrine and the other two to uh, build the points. Now Gigamok is going for the support portal on the second minute. It's crazy. Astro goes for the summoning core. Quite fast, you usually go for the sixth generator first, but I suppose he wants to keep up with tech. Uh, Astro will probably have to go for a faster tier 2 as well. He'll need immortals if he wants to live. Um, Gigamok goes for fast vehicles, which he is doing. Already has the Viper Aspect Stone and has the third generator now. Nice for us here from Astro. Won't allow Gigamok to build this point easily. First Viper on the way gets out on the third minute, that's crazy. Astro could hit order tier 2 now. Yeah, and that's what he does. Tier 2 on the uh, ordered on the third minute. We are taking damage. Gigamok places the webway gate now. This is to inc increase the uh, vehicle support cap. I don't think he deleted the listening post. Maybe he did. 
I'm not sure. We'd win a bit of a fail. The fail if you didn't delete this. So Astro will probably lose a generator here. Won't hit tier um, 2 for a few more seconds, and then he's also got to order um, Immortals and wait for them to come out. And Astro Hero loses a lot of, well, I should say Necrons, they lose a lot of resources on repair, uh, on reparation. No need to move out of the way of the Necron Warriors, they do very little damage uh, without the upgrades. Even with the upgrades, the damage to vehicles isn't that good. Well, the armament is uh, an entry infantry unit. And now we have three Vipers. Yeah, and the first generator goes down. Astro orders two squads of Immortals. But yeah, the Immortals will come, uh, come to the Vipers, but the damage has already been done. Astro now playing on plus 40, will soon be plus 30 uh, income on power. Nice, and Gigamok saves all three Vipers. Looks like there was a decap here with the Scarabs, Gigamok now taking the point back. Second squad of Immortal goes to get out now. And uh, Gigamok has finally placed the Aspect Portal and goes for Warp Spiders. Not really sure why. Wouldn't Dark Creepers be better in this situation? They're cheaper, come out more quickly. And Gigamok's economy is not even that good, only plus 80 income on requisition. Gigamok wasn't controlling this Viper. Destroyed by the Immortals. Nice, a decap with his scarabs. Gets decapped again, very painful for um, Gigamok, but this will be a dead scarab if Gigamok um, stops to shoot it. And now he doesn't know this. Nice decap on this side as well. Man, Spike has 4 HP. It's funny. Painting and not being controlled either. Yeah, Gigamok's completely forgotten about this painting. Yeah. Success. Second squad of warp spiders on the way. Gigamok can do with going for the Glaber, he has enough power. Good, the uh, Warp Spiders focus the Warriors first. Good. Gigamok's essentially lost all of his vehicles, I think he's got... Okay, there's only t there's still two Vipers, that's good. But the Immortals are out of position, no threat at the moment, no need to focus them. Quickly. Gigamok should be ordering the global. I don't know why he's not. Viper not being controlled. Oh yes, yeah, saved. Nice. <laughs> we have uh, wraiths on the way now from Astro. Uh, looks like they already have the wraith upgrade. Astro's. Still a plane on, on only um, five generators. Neck and warriors finally go down. Race not too much of a threat. Yeah, Gigamot goes for holding banshees. Only now adds the fleet of foot on the eighth minute. Well, didn't really need it. Warp spiders don't benefit from fleet of foot anyway. Probably only added the uh, made the upgrade for the banshees. Some pathing here caused by the, by the viper. But the banshees will counter the wraiths. Astro doesn't even try to fight them. It's now getting the sixth generator. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a thermoplasma. 
I don't think Astra will be able to decap the point under the fire of the Guardians. No, I think the Scarabs will go down. Six yeah, Astro here is not looking over here. Victory. Nice usage of the Wraiths. He knows he can't fight this army with them, so he goes to hunt for the Guardians instead. And uh, for some economy, harass. Gigamok now adds the second squad of Banshees. And finally, the global was ordered, almost complete. It's funny the main singer's tying up the immortals. You can see here the wraiths aren't really a threat once the Banshees are out. They drop so quickly. Well, I, I think the second squad of Banshees maybe should have hunted for these um, raves. But it doesn't matter, it looks like Gigamok's gonna win right now. The Vastro Hero can't save the Generator as it's over. He doesn't, he can't afford a Thermoplasma. Wraith's not buying enough time. Like I said, they just drop in seconds to the Banshees. This one's only still up because it has a phase shift. Astro here is dealing good economy damage with the Wraiths um, and decapping the points, but he can't stop this army. You'd probably need a, play, a mix of played ones and destroyers, uh, but Astro Hero can't hit tier 2.5. Well, he could build the uh, Greater Summoning Core now, but he wouldn't have enough economy afterwards to build a destroyer. Yeah, Astro Hero gives up. Now you can see the power of this uh, fast soul shrine, and you can see why it's uh, banned in most. Um, and basically all the recent tournaments, and I think from all tournaments in the past few years, um, going for a Soul Shrine before the Aspect Portal is banned. It's also considered a bug, a bug. Um, and that if I hover over the Aspect Portal, you can see the description on the right hand side. Um, on the last bullet point, it says allows building a Soul Shrine. So essentially what that says is you need to build the Aspect Portal before the Soul Shrine. I'm not sure why you can place this first. I, th I think it's just a bug. I agree that it's a bug anyway. Okay, let's move on to the second game. Elijah versus Splash. We're gonna have a Space Marine Mirror. Wow, so a quick game. You can see how uh, far the time has moved along, and we're only at 15 seconds. Scouts reporting for duty. So Splash opens with four Scout Marines, two I Servitors and Barracks. Elijah plays with only two Scouts. Yeah, I think that's standard for him. At your command. Yes, Whether it's a good opening in uh, Space Marine Mirrors, I'm not so sure. One. This is a good opening if you want um, Tactical so Marine Mass. You save the resources for faster Tactical Marine spam. Yes, Scouts ready. Scouts here. I well, I don't know, especially on a map like this where the points are so well spread, I think uh, opening with three or four Defending Scouts is a good idea. Just for the faster yes, map control. Scouts in position. Uh, Splash goes for a Tactical Marine Squad. Yeah, both players go for the Tactical Marine Squad first from the barracks. Scouts here. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yeah, and both players go for the uh, Force Commander afterwards. Elijah's Force Commander will be out faster. Well, I think his uh, Servitor came out sooner. 
a second one. Scouts in position. Splash might even be able to take a point from Elijah's side here. Won't be able to do anything here, should go back. Unless he wants to run into Elijah's base, trying to decap one of these points. Uh, obviously, five Space Marines beats four. Soon, Splash will have um, a larger squad, though. So, an even trade so far. One tactical Marine for a tactical Marine. Fear denies fate. Fear denies fate. Under fire. Heresy grows. Both players have lost two members now. Fear denies fate. Now Elijah loses Heresy the third. And loses the fourth. So Elijah's losing this flight. Heresy fight. Grows from idleness. Ever vigilant. What's your order? Walk softly. Force commanders arrive at the fight at pretty much the same time. Well, that makes sense. Elijah's force commander came out first, but the fight is taking place close, closer to Splash's base. So, a uh, shorter distance for the force commander to travel. <laughs> Elijah quits. Yeah, it was game over. He opened with only two scouts, um, and he already lost, basically lost a squad of tactical marines, lost too much. Basically took more damage. Um, and Splash had also taken this point from Elijah's side. <laughs> Very fast game. <laughs> Interesting. It's funny, funny game. Even though this game was only three minutes long, I found it more interesting than the first. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, let's move on to the third game. Uh, Eldar Mirror. Gigamok versus TMNT. Conquest Triumph. TMNT with the left hand side. Nice Eldar uh, colour scheme. Well, it looks nice on the buildings. We'll soon see how it looks on the units. But at least the webway assembly looks nice. I like this colour scheme. TMNT opens with three guardians and fleet of foot, sparks, and generator. Gigamok plays with just two guardians, fleet of foot, two bone singers. And builds the uh, well, he builds both buildings simultaneously, but the generators finish first. Where TMT had a faster aspect portal, now goes for Rangers. We will fulfill our duty. So, TMT will have uh, his fighting unit, if you like, out more quickly. What would you have us do? And he'll also have a faster map control since he opened what with three guardians. Okay, Gigamot goes for Farseers, and he'll probably go. Well, it looks like he's going to go for Dark Reapers, where TMNT goes for Rangers. Okay. Gigamot also adds the uh, Warlock to both of the Guardians. TMNT playing defensively here wants the Guardians to capture the point. We return to defend the craft world. Keeps the Rangers here to prevent a decap. I wonder if TMT. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, I wonder if he'll go for infilt infiltration. Ordered it now. We have secured the area. My powers are yours now. We have secured the area. Success. And now uh, TMNT wants to engage with this Guardian squad and the Rangers. The Warlock has been added to the Guardians. Denies the capture of this point from uh, Gigamok's side for some time. The Rangers are now infiltrated. Shouldn't be t too big a problem though, since uh, Gigamok added a Warlock to both members, to both uh, squads of Guardians. A nice job. Denies the point of this, the capture of this point even further. This point has already been captured on TMNT's side, and uh, the listening post has been placed. 
uh, team of two could actually fight this. Two squads of guardians obviously beats the one. And team of two is also capturing his relic now. Interesting engagement here. At least both players' uh, color schemes differ. We have white uh, Eldar versus. Is this like a dark green? A dark blue? I think uh, Gigamok has a stronger army here. Rangers dropping like flies to the Dark Reapers and the two squads of Guardians. And then we have the Farseer tying up uh, one of um, TMNT squads. TMT upgrades this listening post, it should help. Looks like TMT's already lost a squad of Guardians. And oh no, it's here, there's a squad of one member. Should hide this squad, maybe go capture this critical location instead. I shouldn't fight with it. I think it's worth saving this squad just to use as a capper. Yeah, bad move here, in my opinion, from TMT. This squad of Guardians goes down as well. So, yeah, it looks bad. TMT now adds his own squad of Dark Reapers. Probably could have done with making some more army earlier, sooner I mean, instead of uh, building this listening post. I mean, no, grading this listening post. Nice cast of mysticism on the rangers. Manages to finish the squad off. So it's looking very bad for TMT right now. He might be able to kill the Dark Reapers though, only one member on the squad, it's not being reinforced. Gigamok hasn't captured these two points. Yeah, that's right, he opened with two uh, Guardians and they're both here. Should add the third squad. Third squad of Guardians take these two points on the critical locations. Looks like he wants to end the game right now. TMNT places a minefield here. It's not really worth it though, now that uh, Gigamok's seen it. Not sure why you'd go for this, especially when both squads of guardians both have warlocks. TMT remade the uh, rangers. They now have a squad of dark reapers. Yeah, no dead squad of rangers didn't pay up at all. Now TMT focuses the aspect portal. Gigamok now goes for a squad of rangers. Seems he's not interested in taking these points at all, he wants to end the game right now. Which is a mistake in my opinion, I think uh, Gigamok already has enough army here to fight. Just make another squad to take these points. He'll pay it quickly. And <laughs> now, oh, okay, this is TMT's bone singers. Uh, I thought this was a Gigamok teleporting into uh, maybe cast a rave team. Gigamog now focuses the generator. I'm not really sure why he didn't destroy this in the first place instead of focusing the aspect portal. Obviously, the generators go down much quicker, much more quickly than the uh, aspect portal does. Nice job with TMT here. He manages to kill one of uh, Gigamog's uh, Dark Reaper squads. And now the second one is being focused. Only two members left. Yeah, two squads, both squads, Dark Reapers go down. And now two squads of um, Dark Reapers 
obviously beats two squads of Guardians. Uh, Gigamok also lost the um, boss here. I've just noticed. Oh no, okay. I thought the economies were the same. It's not. It's just me being stupid. Plus 68 for Gigamok, plus 86 for TMNT. Yeah, that's right. The Dark Reapers beat the Guardians in melee as well. But this is just to buy time. TMNT replaces the generator and now goes for his relic. He remade a squad of Guardians. Goes for the second generator. Gigamok also going for the second generator. Still hasn't captured these points. Main thing is the one to fight the. well, to type the rangers. TMT now adds the fast here. I think this is a mistake. Okay, good, he cancels it. Go for the soul shrine instead. He goes for the third generator first. Infiltrated rangers are a pain here. But the guardians are almost down. Or at least this squad. Yeah, it goes down. No, focus this one. Okay, good. Yeah, both squads of um, Guardians down. Now the Dark Reapers just need to run under the turrets. Soul Shrine was finally placed on the ninth minute. The uh, Warlock was already added to this uh, Guardian squad. So now um, TMT could hunt for the uh, Rangers. Gigamok hits uh, tier 2 first. I really think uh, TMNT should have placed this uh, Soul Shrine before the generator. I think it's delayed it a bit. He's going to get out of tech now. Oh my god, Gigamok still doesn't own these two points. Plenty of rangers being killed now. Fear the judgment of the council. Gigamot going to tier 2.5 goes for the support portal. My music is a pillar on which all worlds have been built. We are taking damage. We have mastered the art of destruction. The burden of leadership lies with us. Take the battle to the enemy. We are taking damage. Wonder what he'll go for. The rangers finally go down, nice job. Just getting here and kill the bone singers now. Gigamot goes for a falcon. TMT goes for a harlequin for some reason, why, why would you go for this unit? Um, there's no infantry left. TMT now sees the falcon. You could go for um, fire dragons. We walk our path. The burden of leadership lies with us. I don't know what this comment says, but I I assume it has something to do with the fact that Gigamot didn't take these two points. I think um, this comment was made as the Dark Reapers was running were running through this area. The burden of leadership lies with us. So we have two falcons now. Why was this harlequin made? This unit won't pay up at all. It's funny, TMT trying to build a uh, turret here wants to upgrade it. And it, would, it would reach the aspect portal on this uh, LP. Probably won't be finished though. Fire dragons are finally out. At this point is already upgraded, good. Nice job in here, nice harass with the Dark Reapers. The second squad of Fire Dragons should be added in my opinion. 
The Harlequin could be used to tie up the fire dragons, but they're not really a threat. There's no vehicles here from um, TMNT. Dark Reapers should focus the Bone Singer so the Fire Dragons can fight the Falcons. Harlequin not being controlled should cast the Kiss on the Fire Dragons. One of the Falcons finally goes down. For some reason, TMT isn't finishing this turret. I guess he's forgotten about it. This is funny, Gigamok is often considered to be one of the best uh, Eldar players in the game, uh, but not capturing his points. It's a rookie mistake. It's a mistake you'd expect from someone with only two hours on the game, not from someone that has hundreds. The annoying thing is, is that I dealt extremely good damage in tier 1, um, killed plenty of units in here, rangers, guardians, um, reapers. All he had to do was capture these points. Just to deal the damage, then retreat, go tier 2. He would have reached tier 2 before TMT with a stronger army and a better economy. But now he threw the game. Oh well. So, so you saw here a, a good uh, example of how you could play Eldar in tier 1. Um, I think Gigamok showed a, a non-standard but a, um, a very good tier 1 game. He just didn't play that well afterwards after he dealt the damage. It's like he just stopped playing. Strange. Anyway, let's move to the fourth game. Um, Mihalage versus Splash. Eldar versus Space Marines on Quest Triumph. Mihalage should know exactly what to do. Space Marines is his main race. I'm not sure why he plays Eldar in this tournament. Um, but it's, I think it's always easier to play against your main race. You know all the weaknesses, you can use the experiences that you've had. Um, so I'm an IG main, so if I play against IG I know uh, all the builds that I struggle to play against. So I can use them against my IG opponent. Okay, Mahalaj opens with three Guardians, Fleet of Foot, two Bone Singers, Aspect Portal and Generator, and goes for Rangers. Splash opens with three squads of Scout Marines, two Servitors, Barracks and Generator. I mean Barracks and Armory. I guess this will be Assault Marines. Yeah, it is. Interesting cap order. Scouts in position. Goes for the outer point on his side and goes for um, the outer points on Mahalaj's side. In the third scout squad captures the points in the base. I don't think this will be successful though, this point looks like it's about to be decapped. Yes, this was a fail. If Mahalaj decaps this point, this is a failed uh, cap order. Yeah, so he's lost one scout, um, 50, almost 50 requisition, it's actually 45. And the point was instantly decapped, and the scout would have been better off just capturing a point closer to the base. Will be good though if he can kill the guardians. I don't think he'll be able to though. They can just keep kiting the... Uh, Soul Marines, a nice job with the second squad of Guardians. Looks like uh, Mahalaj managed to decap this point as well. Already a bad start for Splash. And the Rangers get here as well. Mahalaj added infiltration. He's now got Fleet of Foot as well. 
Fleetfoot's delayed because he opened with three guardians. Yes. Yes. Will Splash finish the turret? It's close. No, he doesn't even manage to finish the turret. Very a bad start. He hasn't managed to kill this squad of guardians yet. Very bad spot to start with Splash. And Splash doesn't control these two points either. At least he controls one point from Hodge's side. You have need. He might struggle to get a Servitor here though to uh, place the listening post. The second squad of scouts will probably go down as well. The crossbow is facing me and I respond in kind. Nice usage of the squad of guardians keeping the assault marines busy. How can we help? Looks like the rangers is hunting for this squad of scouts up here. He saw the, the scouts when he um, Splash was checking if this point had been built. I guess he wanted to try and capture this one, or decap it at least. Mahalin should teleport a builder in here to build this listening post. And now, of course, a squad of soul marines can't fight two squads of guardians. You just do what Mahalik is doing here. You run with one squad, shoot with the others. Now you stop with this squad and shoot, and run with this squad instead. Yeah, that's exactly what Mahalik does. Looks like the servitor was killed in here. And the point finally gets destroyed. Now the rangers can help fight the assault marines. Whilst this squad decaps the point. Mahalich desperate to finish his listening post. Good job from Splash, he pokes us the builder uh, with the turret. Mahalich trying to take this point from um, Splash's side, that's funny. Mahalich now adds the Dark Reef Prospect Stone and goes for a Wraith Tomb, wants to keep Space Marine on tier 1. Splash added the second squad of assault marines, makes things a little bit easier. It also adds um, the skull probe to detect the rangers. Nice job, Mahalich places this listening pace quickly, not allowing the scouts to decap the point. Messy fight here. The uh, rangers should come and kill the uh, scouts, in my opinion. The assault marines are quite tanky. Just come in here, kill the scouts to free up the squad of guardians, and then focus down the assault marines one squad at a time. The squad of guardians not being controlled for some time, a lot of members lost. Nice job with the system. listening base, buying a lot of time. Uh, hopefully Mahalaj will uh, remember to delete this at the last minute. We are taking damage. Mahalaj made the Dark Reef Prospect stone, but obviously doesn't think he needs the uh, extra army. Feels comfortable with the army that he has. We are taking damage. Although he may wish to add them now. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought this was a third squad of assault marines. It's not. It's still the second. Mahalaj goes for a turret here. Once Mahalaj hits tier 2 and upgrades this, it'll reach the listening post. Nice harass in the base with the assault marines. Hunts for bane singers. But won't be able to do much. These two points have been upgraded to a P2 now. Now Mahalaj can build the rest of his generators in the Soul Shrine between these uh, listening posts. Oh, it turns out there are, there are three squads of Assault Marines. Okay, interesting. Yeah, in this case you, you would want to make more army, which is what Mahalaj does. Add the Dark Reaper squad. 
Yeah, my mistake. So earlier when I looked, this must have been the third squad of submarines, and there must have been two here. Mahalaj also builds a support platform here. Once upgraded, it will reach this position. We are taking damage. Mahalaj also goes for the third generator now and wants to capture these scouts. It should go down, only one member left. Let's see. Be great if you can kill it. I think this is um, Splash's last capper. No, won't be able to. Scout survives. Mahalaj goes for another turret now. And upgrades the relic. Mahalaj can go tier 2 now. Has the resources. Should switch the focus of the turret to this squad of assault marines around two members. Yeah, good, that's what Mahalaj does. Looks like he was focusing the wrong member though. Should have focused the member with uh, less HP. Look at the difference of economy. Mahalaj is 122 to 40 against Splash is 98 to 10. Don't think Splash has any chances now. Had such a bad start, this point was decapped. The capture of this point failed. And uh, it took Splash far too long to take these two points as well. And suffered for the rest of the game because of it. Spent the whole game behind on economy. Mahalaj now adds the Banshee Aspect Stone, upgrades this point, could also upgrade this one, it's starting to float now. Should build a couple of webway gates, also goes for the 5th and 6th generator. Splash, finally going tier 2. Mahalaj already hits tier 2. This turret, well these two turrets should be upgraded. Mahalaj now goes for Call of War research, and adds the first squad of Banshees, also goes for uh, Fire Dragon Aspect Stone. Uh, something I've noticed is Mahalaj made the Wraith team uh, upgrade, but I've, he hasn't cast it once this game. Could just teleport Vain Singers in here one after another, keep a uh, splash on tier 1, he could do that. Well, it'll be more difficult once this point gets upgraded. Banshees hunt for the scouts, that's interesting. The Banshees will have been made to counter the um, Soul Marines. There's just too much army here from Eldar. Obviously the rangers defeat the scouts in melee. Submarine squad being focused by way too many units. Mahalaj now going to 2.5, goes for the support portal. I don't understand why he hasn't upgraded these two turrets, I guess he's just forgotten about them. If he had upgraded these turrets, uh, as soon as he hit tier 2, this position would have already been destroyed. And Splash would have uh, lost his LP2, it wouldn't have paid for itself. LP2s typically take around 2 minutes to pay for themselves, to pay up. Notice that Mahalaj doesn't make fire dragons either. No need to make them until you see a vehicle. Sees that... Um, Splash is massing infantry, so he needs to make more anti-infantry. Well, at the moment he has enough. But uh, what I'm trying to say is no need to make the uh, fire dragons if you don't need them. Mahalaj is going tier 3. Uh, only now adding the optics quite late.
Looks like Mahalaj is struggling to take this listening post, uh, which would have gone a long time ago if he'd only upgraded the turret. We are here to fulfill our duty. Nice decap at the critical location. I'm not sure I'll survive. the squad will survive though. Under two squads of um, assault marines, both sergeants have power swords as well. Yeah, the guardian squad will go down. Well, at least they decap the critical location. Now we have um, the Grey Knights with this rainbow uh, mod. Nice cast of the ability on top of the uh, main sing I mean the uh, what are they call the banshees. Mahalich finally destroyed this point and decaps it. And now finally has the armor. Splash adds the librarian, the first hero we've seen this game. I don't think he went for the. Um, I've not seen a chaplain or force commander this game. The um, knights, the grey knights, went down. Too much army from um, Mahalaj. He now adds another squad of Dark Reapers and goes for the second global on requisition. Crazy income, that's 150. He also adds a Nightwing. Okay. Four minutes. It's driving me mad that he hasn't upgraded his turret. Splash tried to decap this critical location to end the taking hold. Wasn't able to though. Mahalaj going for the tier 3 optics. Should also add the Brightlands platforms. Squad of Salt Marines will go down, hopefully, just focus them. Yeah, down they go. <laughs> Other squad jumps in with only one member. And that's it, Splash gives up, says GG. No chances here. Very uh, risky opening, risky cap order. I think if he'd managed to take this, these two points and build listening posts in time, uh, it could have been really good. Keep uh, Eldar on a lower economy. Well, it's a hard, hard matchup for Space Marines, and Harlage is a very uh, strong player. Considered by many to be the uh, best Space Marine player. Uh, as you've seen, he's also very good with Eldar. Eldar's his second race. Okay. Let's move on to the next game. Uh, Mahalaj versus TMNT. Eldar Mirror on Emerald River. Team NT opens with two brain singers, two guardians, fleet of foot, aspect portal, and a generator. I would consider this a standard Eldar, the standard Eldar opening. Same opening from Mahalaj. Mahalaj goes for rangers. Team T also goes for rangers. Okay, yeah, standard for Eldar mirrors. Guardian squad, my ready to give a pillow on this pillow of the Eldar. How can we help? What is your wish? Command me to build. Mahalaj also orders infiltration. We have secured the area. Yeah, okay. TMT also adds the infiltration. You cannot imagine what we How can we help? Our eyes. Safe cap orders what from both the players. The judgment of accountability. What is your success? Wish? Command me to We are here to fulfill our duty. What 
TM, uh, Mahala generally now has the the warlock a bit later than TMT. I think TMT added the warlock almost straight away. So Mahalaj wants to use his rangers to stop TNT from taking this point, where TMT wants to use his rangers to hunt for Mahalaj's brain singers. It would be really painful for TMT if he loses the guardians. Only one member on the left. Yeah, Mahalaj will chase them. Good. Probably more painful to lose um, one of the Guardian squads than it is to lose a, a couple of Bone Singers. Mahalaj already made the third Bone Singer. And for some reason, TMT doesn't hunt for the Bone Singers. Oh, yeah, he does. Okay, here's TMT's uh, Rangers. It's unfortunate that Mahalaj wasn't able to finish this Guardian squad off. Rangers on this side being tied up by the Guardians. But of course, Rangers and Guardians defeat the Guardians. TMT doesn't seem to be watching this fight. And the squad of Guardians goes down. Only one member left. Yeah, the squad finally goes down. TMT added the third squad of guardians. And TMT still doesn't own this point. That's a problem. My heart, so his economy is currently 56 to 10. My heart is 74 to 10. He has a much better map control. Already controls this point, builds and is upgraded. That's the big difference. We are taking damage. Both we players own the corner damage. position. We are taking damage. Neither we player are trying to capture a relic here. Nice job with the rangers here. Dropping the morale of uh, Mahalaj's units. And this squad of guardians keeping this squad of rangers busy. But of course, Mahalaj should win this fight. It's essentially three squads versus uh, two. Mahalaj wants to decap this point. Yeah, it doesn't get in here in time though. The point has already been placed. The listening post, I mean, has already been placed. We must retreat to the webway. I find it funny that it looked like TMT was winning this fight despite having fewer squads. Well, now he has the third squad of guardians, but it looked like he was winning the bar then. It's funny. Second LP2 on the way from the Harledge. Yeah, upgrades the outer points. TMT, this is the fourth squad of guardians he's made this game. I guess he wants to use this squad as a camper. Still needs to take his relic, could also do taking a critical location. Tim T also now adds the second generator, quite late comp compared to Mahalaj. Mahalaj is already making the third, which means he's probably thinking about going to year two. Mahalaj goes with the bone singer, probably wants to check if TMT is capturing this relic or not. Let's see. Yeah, he just wants to scout this point. Mahalaj doesn't want to get behind the economy, he sees that um, TMT is capturing this point, so he goes to capture his. Mahalaj is also going to tier 2 now. Adds the 4th Bane Singer. Mm, TMT wants to fight, stay on tier 1 for longer. Goes for plasma grenades. So he's going to get out teched. The thing is, uh, TMT will have the, sh the stronger tier 1 army now. Um, but he can't deal much damage. There's no way he'll be able to destroy these points. Well, you can destroy them, but it'll take way too long. 
It's not worth it. We seek the adventure with only war and it's not a problem if Mahalaj can't take his relic, that's fine. Just deny the opponent from taking theirs we are here to fulfill as well. Our duty. Mahalaj upgrades this point to LB2. Will it be done in time? I'm unsure. No, it won't. Mahalaj should probably think about cancelling this. Mahalaj now goes to your 2.5. Yeah, my knowledge cancels the LP2 good. Now it adds the optics. Still no signs of tier 2. Oh yeah, here we go. TMT is going tier 2 as well. They're quite a bit behind though. Strange position for the Soul Shrine. Quite a risky one, placing it on the Automat. Once Mahalaj has optics, he should be winning this fight. Interesting decision casting the grenades on the squad of guardians that have got no morale. Why would you not cast them on the guardians? Mahalaj now adding the falcon. Already has a squad of fire dragons. Mahalaj will soon uh, control the relic. With the Falcon, he should be able to easily fight back this army, allowing him to take this point back as well. TMT will be behind again, because he doesn't, he won't be able to take his relic. I have no idea how he's managing to float, uh, float almost 800 requisition. Uh, we've only plus 80 in comp. It's funny. Yeah, nice job from Mahalaj, he manages to destroy a generator here, we'll probably destroy the listening post as well. Nice pathing with the falcon, slows the guardians down. Nice, Mahalaj is now retaking this point. He goes for this relic, good. Also adds the second squad of fire dragons. TMT has his own squad now, which came out much later. And TMT also added the Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn in range stance for some reason. Okay, now cast is the cast the kiss. Um, I guess the fire dragon armor type's just too high though. They're very tanky, this unit. Many players consider it imbalanced, the armor type of fire dragons. Okay, Mahalaj also taking um, this critical location. I wonder if he saw the, the um, soul shrine. Could destroy it. Uh, I think now that Mahalaj has seen this uh, support portal. Okay, I'm surprised he didn't focus the support portal. He could cancel the capture at this point with the guardians. The guardians can kill the bone singers. Then the fire dragons could focus the support portal. Just an ITMT from here into your 2.5. Uh, but whatever. Look at the economy difference. So and TMT has lost these two points. Still doesn't control the relic. Plus 50 to 10 versus Mahalaj's 120 to 40. No chances. No chances for Mahalaj this time. For TMT, I mean. I, I think his biggest mistake here was going for the grenades. It wasn't necessary. It needed to go for a faster tier 2, I think. TMT adds a falcon. Your song shall guide me. Your song shall guide me. Nice job with the Harley Quinn. If this is the original Harley Quinn, I think it's done a good job. Kept the uh, fire dragons busy for a long time. Bought himself a lot of time. His fire dragons could have been uh, causing chaos inside of his base. 
I say the biggest mistake was uh, the grenades also floating 700 requisition um, so early in the game is of course a big mistake. Although I'm not sure what you should have invested it in. Mahalaj goes for Vipers. And TMT gives up. He's lost everything. Most of his army uh, was killed. He was killed by the Falcon actually. And uh, all of his points. Most of his points decapped. I think the uh, support portal also went down. That was placed over here. No chances for TMT this time. So Mahalaj makes it to the final uh, round of the loser bracket where he'll play against Devil with Chaos. So the winner of this game will play against uh, Miko's Dark Eldar in the grand final. Hopefully, well I say hopefully, I don't really care who wins, but hopefully Mahalaj will win just so we don't have Chaos versus Dark Eldar again. We already saw um, Devil play against Miko in the final of the winner bracket. Didn't go so well for him, so it'd be nice to see Mahalaj have a try, have a go. Anyway, Mahalaj opens with three Guardians, Fleet of Foot, Barracks, and Generator, goes for Rangers, also two Bone Singers. Devil opens with um, two Cultists, Barracks, Armory, and Raptors, goes for Fast Power Swords. Um, okay, this is the first time I've ever seen this build. It's interesting still seeing uh, new stuff, even after watching hundreds of replays and playing thousands of games. It'll be interesting to see how this works. So Devil adds the um, aspiring champion of course. Mahalaj has the uh, already has the rangers, has the uh, infiltration now as well. We are shaped by faith just as we should. We are taking damage. We are shaped by faith just as we should. Very nice kill on the um, bone singer. Mm, yeah, <laughs> did nice. Uh, well, delays capture at this point as well. We'll also delay the capture at this one. Nice. Mahalaj clearly sees the power sword, doesn't want to fight um, the raptors. Sends his squad of guardians to go and counter harass, wants to kill some cultists. Um, Devil now goes for the unholy sight, well it makes sense, he sees the infiltrated rangers. We are taking damage. My music is a pillow We are taking damage. What is going on with these cultists? Very strange pathing. Very strange. Very strange. It's like they got stuck on this uh, wall. How can we help? I know. Well, cultists have a bit of a reputation for <laughs> pathing themselves, but that, that was ridiculous. I've never seen it be that bad. Okay, Mahalaj finally took all of his points. The Raptors, um, they've killed a couple of builders, but I'm not sure they've paid up. I don't think Devil managed to decap any points. And a couple of Raptors have been killed as well. Plus 60 requisition, also you've got to consider the investment that went into the armory and the power swords and uh, the aspiring champion which is 65 to 10. We are taking damage. Yeah, I must admit, so far I'm not a fan of this build. The devil now adds uh, Chaos Space Marine squad. 
can I serve? Nice, right, Sarasia with the Guardians doesn't allow a um, devil to take his relic. Do you hear the voices too? We will serve you. And in return, Lai has the power of the dark gods. The Guardians could kill this heretic right now. Mahalaj doesn't notice. Maybe he'll try and kill this one instead. Okay, he noticed this heretic at least. Now he spots this one. Yeah, nice job. Devil's left without any uh, builders now. Devil decides to upgrade this point. Okay. My life is forfeit. And he decides to go for the second Raptor squad. Mahalaj could finish off the squad of cultists. Missed opportunity here. We can serve you. <laughs> Mahalaj also on the way to tier two now. We are by faith just as we should it. You have need. How can we help? Nice job with the rangers focusing the cultists. No need to run, could fight them in melee, they've got no morale. Yeah, and the squad of cultists goes down. Nice job. So that's two squads of cultists that have been killed. Both of Devil's Kappas, he was forced to remake another squad. But he needs to make another Kappa just to take this relic and then take the critical location. He also needs a cultist to act as detection to um, help deal with the rangers. Well, Mahalaj is doing well. Focus as the cultist when you can, which is good. And Mahalaj, I don't think he's lost a single copy yet. Yeah, that's right, he still has all three guardians. He now hits tier two. He goes for the Harlequin. Yeah, good. The Harlequin will counter the Raptors. Still no signs of tier 2 for um, Devil. Why does he build the third, third generator? He's floating 300 power. Why did he need this generator? Should have cancelled it, gone for a faster tier 2, in my opinion. Mahalaj now adds the uh, Fire Dragon Aspect Stone. Mm. Mahalaj also going for the Thermo Plasma Generator now. Yeah, this looks like a Mahalaj victory. There's still around three minutes of this game left. I'd be very impressed if Devil manages to turn the game around. Let's see. Devil only now taking his relic on the seventh minute, very late. Not sure where these guardians are going. I guess they were checking to see if the listening post had been placed. Raptors jump in here to kill the bone singers. Mahalaj goes for optics and for mysticism. Yeah, good decision going for mysticism versus raptors. I like it. Can now stun the raptors in place and focus them down. Now let's see if you'll do that. Yeah, stuns the raptors. Um, but really, you should have focused them with the rangers and this squad of guardians as well. And maybe this squad. I think he missed his chance to kill his uh, raptors here. We now have tier 2 optics uh, for Eldar. Not sure why the rangers are running from a drop to morale cultists. Nice decap in here with the fire dragons. Mahalaj adds the second squad of fire dragons and goes for support portal as well as a support platform. Fire Dragons go down, they're not being controlled by Mahalaj, should have run away as soon as this point was decapped. 
I guess my knowledge just forgot about them. Devil finally hits tier 2.5, quite far behind. Now adds the Calm Berserkers and the Chaos Sorcerer. My Harvage goes for armor. In fact, Devil hit tier 2.5. Uh, actually, yeah, he actually hit tier 2.5 before. Um, my Harvage did. But look at the difference in the economy 150 to 80 versus 90 to 30. My Harlage now goes for Warp Spider Aspect Stone and a Nightwing. Also, we have the second support platform and a minefield here. We are taking damage. It makes sense to go for uh, these buildings when you're fighting a uh, mostly melee based army. I guess my Harlage was expecting the Calm Zerkers, or maybe he saw the um, Sacrificial Circle. If you see the Sacrificial Circle, you can usually expect Sorcerer and Calm Berserkers. If not, expect the Filers. Not sure why Mahalich doesn't fight under the turrets. In fact, Mahalich now goes for the Fitz platform. Second Optics on the way, idling um, Nightwing. So uh, obviously Devil shouldn't fight under three turrets, an LP2 and an LP2, as well as uh, the Selvar army. Feels like Devil's now dropping the horrors. Okay. The horrors focus the turret at least. This bone singer should prepare this turret, and these two bone singers should teleport in and tie up the horrors. Mahalish doesn't notice though. Not sure where he's looking. Second turret goes down, uh, but Devil loses his entire, almost his entire army, and he quits. So victory for Mahalid, she was also on the way to tier 3, we had warp spiders, the first squad of warp spiders were coming out, and we also had rape lord aspect stones. So no chances for um, a Devil this time. I really didn't like the raptor opening, I think it maybe would have been better to open with two squads of raptors without the upgrades. I also didn't notice there's a squad of uh, fire dragons going on counter harass. It looks like the, um, Mahalaj managed to destroy this uh, listening post and decap the point. He may have even destroyed a few generators. I, I think um, Devil had placed his generators in this position. So yeah, nice work for Mahalaj, he, he wins the um, in the loser bracket, so we'll go to fight Maiko, uh, Miko in the grand final. So we'll have a best of three Eldar versus Dark Eldar, uh, but you'll have to wait for the next video. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!